In this video, I'd like to illustrate one of the parameters that is used to define a region over data. And I'm going to start off with an extreme case that is not very useful, other than to demonstrate how important it is to calculate the background with sufficient data points that will define the end points of the background. So if I create a region come in with a Shirley background and the average width is 1. Now to see the average width when we create a region there's a display option on the colors property page that lets you mark the region average width and when ticked and the OK button is pressed you will see vertical dotted lines that indicate the limits relative to the position of the endpoints of the region defined by the average width parameter. So if I change this to say 14 and press return, it's clear we have two limits that represent the range of data points that will be averaged to calculate the point at which the background ties to the start and the end of this region. I'll begin this analysis by setting the average width to zero and then I'll propagate the regions over this entire data set. Now these are just iterations of a measurement from a platinum plate and if we don't apply any average width other than the data point itself, the region limits, then the variation in the background is very apparent. If on the other hand I use the 14 data points either side, the 29 points to average to get these limits and propagate, then it's quite clear we have an improvement in the precision with which this peak area can be calculated. And if we want to get a numerical value to indicate the type of precision we ought to expect for data such as these, we can use an option on the browser operations to calculate the error bars for a set of data that are selected based on the regions. So when I press OK, a Monte Carlo simulation allows us to calculate the uncertainty associated with the area of these data. And we can see the numerical values if we go to the report spec property page. The standard deviation button will populate the formula and names table with suitable entries for examining the area, the standard deviation in the area and the relative error. So when I request an area report based on the definition here we end up with a table and this table is indicating that the standard deviation is quite significant compared to the area that we're calculating even when we've got 14 data points. The uncertainty is ranging between 46 and say 17, 14, 14% 14 relative error. This is not a good starting point for creating a peak model for data such as these. If the background itself is creating errors of these proportions then a peak model is virtually useless in trying to understand the chemistry of a sample based on data such as these. That's not surprising. The data are really quite bad. If on the other hand we consider a peak with intensity and we introduce a Shirley background and the Shirley background is defined so that the 14 data points are used to calculate the limits then propagate these regions and I'll also calculate the error bars at the same time then following the same example of using the standard deviation to populate the table and calculating the area we now see that the uncertainty that is introduced in the calculation of the area from the integration of data of this form is now less than half a percent. So we would have confidence in producing a peak model that is based on the Platinum 4F where we would have no confidence in a peak model that was based on the Platinum 
4s.